Russell Moon, that's the prayer. What you mean? But I told you, we got to go through. You know what's funny? In order when, to realize. When they first got together, I was looking at the comments in Shade Room. Um, some girl was like, this is cute, but I'd still be cheating with Future on the weekends. Why would you do that? Because Future gets her blood I guess I can boiling see. and shit like that. I Listen, it's the message right here. Black boy, tell me how you really feel. Because I just want to build with you. Black girl, tell me how you really feel. I want to keep it real with you. I want to live better, eat better. I want to love better, sleep better. Yeah, I want to feel so aligned. The two mandates of masculinity is provide and protect. Mm -hmm. Without being able to provide and protect, for all intents and purposes, you're not a man, right? The mandates for uh, women is to nurture, mm -hmm. right? And I would even say submit. Let's throw that in there. Okay. Nurture and submit, right? Now, when we put things in the, in the um, context of slavery, mm -hmm. for 400 years, the black man could not exist. Right. Because under that type of regime, you cannot protect right. and you cannot provide. Right. You can still nurture and you can still submit, though. Black women could still survive. Feminine, black femininity could still survive. Black masculinity was exterminated. I think if our women empathize with just that fact alone, yeah. they would be less willing to or less um, enthusiastic about throwing all these expectations of us. A real man would, a real man this, a real man that. You know how many times we hear that coming up from our moms even? A real man this, a real man that. Yeah. And a lot of the things they tell us a real man is, is self-destructive. Yeah. Like, I, I talk about Eve all the time, the rapper Eve. Mm -hmm. She grew up rapping about, nigga gotta be a soldier, this and that. And then she ended up with a geeky ass white dude. Mm -hmm. You know how many niggas died behind that soldier shit that she was preaching? Yeah. And she didn't choose them. <laughs> she ran to Brad. And I feel the same way about the niggas talking about their love with a stripper and encourage women to become strippers and then go marry the church girl. It's, fuck, it's fucked up. And we, we are our own worst enemy. But my thing is this. I, as a man, I have to decide who, I have to decide what kind of future do I want. That's a standard. Yes. What kind of future do I want and what kind of woman helps me get closer to that future? Those standards. And women need to decide the same thing. Because right now, y'all are deciding two different things. You're deciding, I want this future, but I also want future. I mean... A girl can dream, dang, God, goodness. A lot of women need to grow up, man. They still in fairy tale land with, with some expectations. But you gotta, that's what they gave us. You gotta grow up. We gotta grow up. At what point? I mean, because technically the fairy tale world works if the man does exactly what you said. The, the man fairy tale world never works. If you I say need, the man. I, no, no, no. I need people to divorce themselves that expectation. It is not sustainable. When, when Cinderella got back to that castle, the prince probably left to go find another Cinderella. That's a fact. That's what I'm saying. So we got to start divorcing ourselves some of these childhood expectations that were incomplete. Final thoughts? Final thoughts definitely would be hmm. black women. We got to love on black men. And black men love on each other. Because the issue is black women were trying to fix black men. And black men just over it. That's why you're like, man, I ain't trying to do that. Even though we're broken. But I feel like we're coming, black women are loving on each other more. So it's boosting our ego to be like, okay, yes, I can do this. I can't do that. Yeah, because of the lack of men sometimes, I guess, would... According to you, we just don't know how to pick them. <laughs> you don't. We don't. And it's okay. Or maintain them. Or maintain them. That's the problem. We're maintaining the wrong ones. It's not maintenance. That's not maintenance. And it actually makes it, it makes him feel less of a man. Like, what women don't understand is... When we help, you guys feel like it's, you're feeling less than a man? Or when we, if, you know... If, if a woman... Um, outside of like emergency situations, okay. 
if a woman um, primarily fulfills your role as a man, it's emasculating. The reason why, like one of the interviews I had, I was like, and I said it up front, I said, broke niggas don't deserve pussy. Because at the end of the day, you'll only attract men. Because women are attracted to men. Right? So unless you are building something that she can then come help you out with, you're just going to become her bitch. And you're going to attract masculine ass women. It sounds like it's a man we need to figure out what the heck going on. Because how are we supposed to change as women if men... But I feel bad for the 1%. We ain't talking about the 1% because that's 1%. 99% of the men or would follow the example you just now saying as a woman who dates. You get what I'm saying? Women need to start incentivizing the right behavior. That's all. That's it. You're right. So whether it's you tell your daughters that the date the geeky boy, he's going to be a good dad one day instead of the nigga who sell weed on the weekends. See, no, we're not going to do that either because the geeky man may not be a good dad. But I'm not talking about the geekiness. I'm talking about the qualities and attributes. So, for okay, instance, bitch, because like when you hear a lot of women, um, and I have a, I have a lot of conversations with women when they talk about their priority list of things that they want from a man. It's a lot of bullshit. Really? It's a whole lot of bull. I want what him to saying? be. I want him to be this tall. Really? I want him to have swag. I want. That's him to what make they say. This amount of money. This and that. And it's not until some women, they get to the point where they talk about, I want him to have integrity. Right. That's what I'm saying. That's what really the... But what I'm saying is, if I have a conversation with 10 women, only one bring up integrity and honor. Most wow. of them bring up peacock attributes. I said it the other day. Wow. If women pay more attention to a nigga's LinkedIn page, as opposed to his Instagram profile, we'll be all right. Be right. Because as a man, I know, I know, they listen, they as a man, a and this is what women aren't realizing. I have conversations with even young boys. They know how to trick y'all. They know how to trick y'all. Oh, 100%. Because yeah, they man, know, they know your here. priority lists are fucked up. Your priority lists are fucked up. You're right. So you're going to keep seeing futures out here because that's the behavior you're incentivizing. What incentive does a nigga have to be Russell, Russell Wilson? What incentive? What incentive? Russell Wilson, that's... The prayer. What you mean? But I told you, we got to go through. You know what's funny? In order when, to realize. When they first got together, I was looking at the comments in Shay Room. Um, some girl was like, this is cute, but I'd still be cheating with Future on the weekends. Why would she do that? Because <laughs> Future gets her blood I guess I can see boiling it. and shit like that. I guess I can see it. But when I see their videos and how he acts, he doesn't seem as corny. I mean, he does seem like he's... No, nah, that nigga's corny. You know? He's corny. Yeah, you know, a little bit. He's corny. But he take care of what he's supposed to be. He, he does what he set that, because he set that foundation for her to join his world. So shit, girl, you got to deal with that corniness. I'm going to deal with it, but his, you got to deal with it. Here's the something. other conversation we're not having. If he was a white dude, nobody would call him corny. Oh, no, I'm telling him corny, too. He's corny, too. Now, he ain't, because he not, because he not, uh, he not, uh, what's his name? Who just retired? Tom Brady. He not Tom Brady. Tom Brady not corny. Why? <sighs> Maybe it's just the dumb. Because he's white. No. Yeah, it's because he's white. No, because OBJ. I know a lot of OBJ don't. He don't get me corny. Yeah, because he's black and he fits a stereotype. He tatted up all that good stuff. To me. But my point is, as a black man, as a black man. Because Pete Davidson, he's damn sure corny. As a black man, you have a lot smaller like box you can fit in. That sucks, man. Now I'm gonna have to now you wanna have me watching black men like dang man he was right. I just want you to watch us and, and question the things that you used to think. That's all. I just want you to question the things you used to think. Because a lot of it is wrong. Not not you specifically, but in general. A lot of it is wrong. Like why do I think he's corny? And then why do I think this white dude who's the same exact way is sweet? All right. Because you, you see what a lot of women say now is like, oh, get you a white man. They'll treat you better. I know a lot of black dudes who treat women fantastically, but women call them corny. Do you date black men? No. Do I date black men? Right. I know a lot of black men. I'm a black man. Right. But y'all don't date black men. That's why I be telling people, like, y'all be friends. Y'all y'all cool, you know? It's not different. But sometimes... It's not different. I promise you. A lot of times the conversation is different when it's from friend to girl. What do you mean? To female. 
What do you mean? Yeah, they, you know, how they act with their dudes and talk about women and how they... It's not different. That's your circle. <laughs> what I'm saying to you is... Because I've, I've, I've sat with men, like, I'm literally sitting here like, dang, like, okay... But then you in my DM, but you over here really. Like, but niggas know dudes in a circle that they'd be like, I would be comfortable. I have two sisters. Okay. I'd be comfortable if so so and so dated my sister. I wouldn't be comfortable if so so and so dated my sister. We're friends, but you know what I'm saying? I know how he moves and I know how he right. moves. So men know. <laughs> but the difference is like we think relationship, romantic relationship, and friendship are that different. They're not that different. I know black men very, very, very well. And my point is. The niggas that I know. Well, please, you're gonna have to write a book so you can teach these black men that I know. This is the book. You feel me? The niggas niggas that that I I know, know. niggas that I know who get the most pussy, I would not let them anywhere around my sister. Oh, hell. So, my question to black women is why do they get the most pussy? He's not more handsome than the other dude. Because they're just getting pussy. They're not getting no, they ain't getting nothing else with pussy. Like, listen, pussy is currency. Pussy is currency. And y'all keep voting it's an for the wrong shit. It's an exchange. Because it, then it's like, why is you giving this man your mind? That's a different story. You know what I'm saying? Why is you giving this man your mind? Pussy is an exchange. Like, it's part of it. It's like... It's, like <sighs> it's part of it. To get your pussy, I got to get your mind, too. Not necessarily. For a lot of women, yes. Damn. Listen, I told you I'm not the black woman that has some, some questions. I'm like, Damn. I get it. That's, you know, once after time and after conversations, maybe, and some of the conversations may be alluding to something else, to something more, then it's different. You know what I'm saying? Then it's like, okay, we had conversations. Like, I thought we were in tune mentally. You know what I'm saying? Like, but if it's just, we ain't having no type of conversations and we just been. Relationships really are complicated. Because <laughs> y'all are the ones who got to pick it. <laughs> Leaving us lonely with dogs. Y'all need to vote better and we need to do better. That's, that's how I leave it. You said vote better? Yeah, women need to vote better. Men need to do better. I agree. I agree. Because like I said, women, we do have some issues. That I feel like we... I feel like we are overcoming them more because they are being put on blast. Like with Kevin Samuels. Because I respect Kevin Samuels for that. Because it really makes me sit and think like, dang, like some women really, they, that's what they expect. Like you said, working at Walmart and they want a burger bag. But they ain't even trying to do nothing else with themselves. Like you don't want you don't want better for your, yourself. Just to, that's how I feel about me. And like y'all want, because in order for you to find the man that you want, like you said, yeah, we gotta raise ourselves to, to that level. Yeah, the women. only the only men you should see are men on that on that level. Everybody else shouldn't exist to you. Right. So you shouldn't ever be having a conversation of if he uh, if he no. Right. Like for instance, I live a certain lifestyle because that's what I want for myself. Right. Not. Because of a bitch, a right. woman trying to get bitches, nothing like that. Right. And if women prioritize those type of men who are doing, who are working hard for him, right. that's sustainable. But if he's doing shit just to impress you or prove to you that this, this, that's not sustainable. Because at some point, he's going to be like, eh, I already got her. But that's what I'm saying. You must not date men. Because they feel like that's what majority, these 99%, that's what they doing. 